So this is still about a couple hundred degrees. Take a look at the fork key where I was actually spooning the slag off the bismuth as I was melting it. These little cubes here, you can see those, those are bismuth crystals. Now what this is, is obviously a cooking tray and around here is just modeling clay. And uh, what I used for a box to build a uh, place for the bismuth ingots was a cut up uh, soda can and then I cut it out and I bent the corners to make a perfect rectangle like that and I just cooked it on the stove there and uh, poured it. Now the the pouring pan is a stainless uh, cat dish all stainless that I uh, got from uh, a pet supply place. I keep reusing it and uh, when I cook bismuth on the stove I make sure to wear my gas mask. <laughs> so when this is done cooling it's still smoking hot when it's done cooling I will just actually peel this back a little bit since it's just a soda can and uh, I will lift the bismuth out with the uh, corner of a knife and I will have myself a two pound bismuth ingot which I will use for magnetic experimentation since other people have absconded with my bismuth ingots it's like, ah, eh, it's no problem I will uh, make some more. Bismuth right now is at an all-time low, but it's about to go up in price. Right now you can get... I'm shaking. My phone, for some reason my phone is shaking, because my hand was holding on to the dish for about 15 minutes while it was uh, cooking on the stove there and melting. Bismuth right now you can get 50-pound um, ingots for like three hundred dollars you buy them in bulk and get them for about 280 bucks which is a record low it was uh, three times that expensive back in 2012 the only issue you have is when you press this in the aluminum into the clay and there's clay underneath there is you need to press it to get all the air bubbles out because once the 500 degree bismuth hits the tin can if there's an air bubble underneath there it will expand and then the bismuth could explode into your face like a volcano and there's nothing less comfortable than uh, having molten hot metal hit your face or worse still your crotch <laughs> repeat after me crotch your crotch and molten metal does not go together very well all this purple and blue that's actual natural natural bismuth oxidation so this is 100 percent pure bismuth that purple and blue color is all nat o natural. So, yeah, all those little square bits there are bismuth crystals. As they're baking, as it's uh, cooling, it's shrinking inwards. Right, the, the edges are always smooth, and in the center where it cools the uh, slowest is where the bismuth crystals always formed. But they're formed and sealed on the inside, so you can't see them. And they're upside down. You can see the square shapes, but they're they're growing inwards as it's cooling obviously towards the center, just like a loaf of bread does. There you go, folks. There's the cheap and easy way. I'm warning you, you can easily, easily get hurt doing this. So I'm warning you, I'm warning you, don't do it. This is grandma's old fork. Uh, yeah, it ain't good no more. Look, wait, wait, I think this is too hot to touch. Uh, still, I don't want to touch it and burn myself. <laughs> There's bismuth crystals where I skimmed uh, I skimmed the surface before pouring it, the slag, the slag off, which is pure bismuth, but there's always a little bit of slag. And there's bismuth crystals growing on the end of the fork. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. If you do, you can always make a donation or two because you learned something today. But don't mess with molten metals. There is nothing more disgustingly horrible than a molten metal burn. Because it doesn't burn you, it burns you and then it sinks into your skin like a rapidly, it's, it's disgusting. Thanks for watching, bye.